Hurricane Irma boats toss. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? And one more time, the boys from Parlay Revival gonna bring that great big battleship of theirs over and back it up to the shack. After seven months in the Rio, we became really good friends with Marvin, the owner of the shack bar. He said we could tie up to his bar for the farewell party, so that's exactly what we did. No one had ever tried this before, so there were minor concerns that we would pull the place off its stilts overnight if the wind came up, but we were too excited not to try. So this is our leaving party. We're here at uh, the shack tied up behind them and a whole bunch of people have come just to say goodbye and it's kind of overwhelming honestly. We've been here since April and at seven months. Um, took a couple months off to work on that super yacht but man it's been a long hard journey to get here and honestly it's just so surreal to be here. All the cushions are out, the boat's looking amazing, and everyone's here just to see us off. So, spirits are super high at the moment, and I'm honestly over the moon. And uh, yeah, now the fun begins. Seven months in the Rio, she's time to leave, boys. <laughs> the wind it's been hard. Nah, nah, it doesn't matter anyway, we've got the A team. Yeah, yeah, the A team. Cool, we're getting the. Uh, the waypoints to a few of Mikey's favorite bars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is important. But, hey, that's also important. Gives you right to push it. Yeah. Right, so if you're going towards Trace Booth, just stay, yeah. stay starboard over to the right, and you'll get a little bay back. Yeah, I'm having a good time. Oh, what's up, Parley? Oh. Hey, 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 Captain. Captain. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Mike's the ring. The ring. We're so gonna miss you guys, oh, but man, you know what? Miss you too, brother. There's a lot of wonderful things about this life, and then there's some heartbreaking things about this life. Yeah, but that's okay. But bring them on. I want to say too. How many? Maybe you like you. Our leaving party ended up being one for the books, and even the dogs appeared to be hungover. But it was time to get our act together as we were finally leaving Rio Dulce. Y'all ready to go? Here we go! <laughs> things are looking up for the boys. <laughs> I'm flying my drone, I'm getting some shots in the shack. Hey, come down. In my opinion, Rio Dulce is an exceptional place to work on your boat. The labour starts at $18 per day for a worker, but providing some food, drinks and the odd beer here and there also goes a long way. We felt safe the entire time, but unfortunately there was the odd bit of theft, which we also experienced around the whole Caribbean, so you're normally fine if you just take the appropriate measures to secure your belongings. If we were to go again, we would probably take more parts and materials with us, as these are slightly inflated in the Rio. The sailing community were like none other we had met before, and everyone was so willing to offer information or a helping hand. Nevertheless, the excitement levels were super high to be leaving out into the Caribbean Sea, and we invited some of our closest friends with us down the river. <laughs> Yeah, 
about 48 hours off crystal clear water. It's happening, we're leaving Rio Dulce. We're leaving Rio! <laughs> <laughs> Seven months ago, we were this excited to get here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's been good to us. We had a lot of good crew yeah. come through at the same time. Lost a lot of good crew. <laughs> Best thing that ever happened to the boat was uh, Matthew come on and take the pressure off me. <laughs> <laughs> How excited are we? Oh. <laughs> it's been uh, oh, unreal. Come in hot, pull out hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got scars from you, so I'll always remember you. Hola, Janet. Hola. Hola. Kim, you're the first off the dive board, Kim. Whoa! Go, Monica! Whoa! Mike's helped us all the way for the seven months. Our first night out of the rear was spent in Texan Bay, or Cayo Comado, where Texan Mike led us raft up to his restaurant for the night. How does it feel? Still a lot of different emotions Surreal. happening right now. All good, but uh, it doesn't, doesn't feel real that we're out of Rio. And about to leave Guatemala tomorrow. It's been a long time. Yeah, check out tomorrow in Livingston and then head to Belize. I took the girls for a dinghy ride through the picturesque lagoons in the area. You feel so remote in these parts of the Guatemalan jungle, and the beauty never ceases to amaze me. The next morning we dropped the lines headed for Livingston, which means motoring out through the incredible cliffs and jungle of the Rio Dulce River. This was one of the most spectacular places we had taken Parlay so far. 300 foot cliffs lined the walls of the Rio, teeming with wildlife and raw beauty. One thing we will never forget.
The crew got to walk around Livingston for a couple of hours while I cleared us out, which was super easy using the agent Raul, who takes care of everything for you, and we were soon ready to leave. But as we do every time we have new crew, we have a safety meeting before going out into the open ocean. Okay, so we're going to leave now. Life jackets are under the seat. We've got a doctor on board, luckily, so. And also in there are the flares. So if I say someone please grab the flares, that's where they are. Um, before we go anywhere ever, it's everyone's responsibility to make sure their hatches are closed. Especially those little ones. If someone falls in, we've got the life ring here. First thing you do if someone falls over is throw that thing in so that they have something to hold on to. And then whoever sees them first points and doesn't ever take their finger off that person. So yeah, that's fire, flooding, if you'll hear the bilge pump, it'll, it'll make an alarm. Um, I'll do it now so everyone knows what it sounds like. And there's a simple up and down on here that lives in there. And it's like up and down, very simple. Straight down with your arm like this, nice and clear so I can see it. it means the anchor's straight down and you can pick it up. If, if it's stretching all the way out there, then you give me that signal. You tell me it's really stretching, and so I'll drive the boat fast up ahead over the chain so that the chain ends up being straight up and down. So we normally go with a five to one scope, which means if it's 20 feet deep, we'll put out 100 feet of chain. The main holding power is in the big half inch chain. It's a really big chain, half inch chain lying across the ground. We've, we have, we've only dragged once and it was completely my fault. <laughs> oh, can it be? These two clowns. <laughs> oh, oh, if they can do it, yeah. then we're good. Oh, it's very off and it's just <laughs> oh. Where are we now? This is the first night on anchor. <laughs> First night out of the Rio. Yeah. We're in a place called Tres Puntas, which is just opposite Livingston. It was a one and a half hour motor to get here because it was straight into the wind. And this has been a long time coming. We picked up the anchor early in the morning, headed for Belize. It's hard to really describe the feeling of excitement for us to finally be leaving Guatemala. Pale had truly been revived, and we were over the moon to be starting our new adventure with new friends and old, and the next chapter was truly about to begin. Jamie's Fit getting on the house. Fitness starts tomorrow. <laughs> 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 oh, <we're> done. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the master, the captain of the vessel, always makes that call. So don't just go jumping off the boat. <laughs> 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 